English 121, Types of Audience Appeals, from the Allen and Bacon Guide, pages 326 to 328. In order to win people's consideration of their ideas, writers or speakers can appeal to what the classical philosopher Aristotle called logos, ethos, and pathos. According to Aristotle, it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Such is the beauty of these types of appeals. Logos is the appeal to reason. This refers to the quality of the message itself. Does it make sense? Is it structured effectively to help the audience follow along? And does everything relate back to the overall thesis? Ethos, on the other hand, is the appeal to the character of the speaker or writer. This refers to the speaker or writer's trustworthiness and credibility. Do you believe what you are being told, and should you? Pathos, on the other hand, appeals to the sympathies, values, beliefs, and emotions of the audience. How does the text make you feel, and what reaction does it cause within you? Remember that these types of audience appeals each relate to a different element of the rhetorical triangle. The writer always needs to be ethical. The purpose always needs to be presented in a logical way. And the audience needs to be connected to pathologically or emotionally. There's also a fourth type of appeal, kairos, that refers to the timeliness of the text as it fits in with the surrounding context. Looking more de deeply at ethos, you appeal to ethos whenever you present yourself as a credible, knowledgeable, and trustworthy writer. You want to demonstrate that you know your subject well. Cite personal experience and your research. Be fair in your presentation of alternative points of view. And build bridges towards your audience by grounding your argument in shared values and assumptions. Root your argument in the audience's values. Along with that, appeals to pathos can sometimes be irrational and irrelevant. However, they can also arouse deep audience interest and deepen the audience's understanding of the argument's human dimensions. When being pathological, always use vivid language and examples. Try to find audience-based reasons. Think of pathos not as an appeal to emotions, but rather an appeal to the audience's values and beliefs. Audience-based reasons is, are those that the audience already accepts and endorses. Such reasons hook into the values and beliefs of the audience. Therefore, you should seek audience-based reasons whenever possible. Use these appeals to your advantage as you work to persuade readers in your argumentative essays.